quite into my productivity and I like things to work quite fast and kind of easy to use for myself. So today I want to talk about the presets on the DSLRs. I'm shooting with the Canon 7D Mark II and it's got three presets, C, 1, 2 and 3. And I use those quite a bit. So in this episode I wanted to go through the three presets that I use on my camera then I'll go into how to set them on this Canon 7D, which will also be the same or similar for a lot of different Canon models. If you have a different camera though, you may want to just check out which presets I use, come up with some ideas. Maybe if people have ideas of what they use in their presets, leave it in the comments so people can kind of experiment with different things. And then you might have to check out a video or your manual for how to set it up on your particular camera. Most important preset for me is video. I shoot video a lot with this camera. I shoot a lot of B-roll with this camera when I'm in the field. And I just want to switch quickly from taking photos to filming some B-roll for my videos. So uh, this, is the, this is the number one preset that I use, but I have it as C3 because uh, that means that I can just drag this wheel all the way to the end where it stops. And that's where C3 is. So I can do it in the dark. Very often when I shoot B-roll, I might be lying in a hide or something like that, as you see in the, in the Black Grouse video that I uploaded last week, uh, where I start out taking video early in the morning because it's too dark to actually get a photo, but I can shoot some B-roll. You don't need that much light for video. So that is my most important preset, and I have that on the C3 on the Canon model. My second one, which I then on C2, which is the middle one. That used to be for time lapses for me because I do a lot of time lapses for my videos. I quite like a good time lapse. So uh, I would have that set on the C2, but now I got my Canon M50 there, which I'm shooting the vlog with right now. And I do a lot of my time lapses on that instead. So therefore, I've gone back to using C2 as a bracket mode. I just want to take a quick landscape shot and you know, I don't have my filters with me or I can't be bothered using them. I'll have a bracket mode so it takes three exposures. My last preset, C1, is basically two steps on the wheel from manual. So it's quite an easy one and close when I'm shooting manual. And that's why I like to have that when I'm, let's say I'm taking pictures of birds in flight. You can check out my video that I did recently on that, on how to capture birds in flight. And this is kind of something I'm experimenting with. A lot of the time, you're just waiting around for something to fly. And when you're doing that, you very often shots of birds sitting still, or anything else. The thing is though, when you're taking pictures of birds in flight, you're gonna need a very high shutter speed, which also means that you're probably gonna be using a very high ISO. But when you're taking pictures of stationary birds like that, you don't need that high shutter speed. You don't need to be using that high ISO. But you also don't want to be fiddling about, changing all your settings, and then you're not ready to go when a bird actually takes off. So, to get around that problem, I set up in full manual, or maybe aperture priority sometimes, get my settings right for capturing birds in flight, which is going to be fast shutter speed, high ISO, and then my C1, I have that set kind of ready to take a picture of a bird just kind of sitting still. So there you have it. That's my three go-to presets for the Canon 7D Mark II and will probably work on most cameras, mirrorless or DSLRs that you have. So just to recap, number one, capturing video. Number two, I have bracketing shots, three brackets. And for my last preset is the one I use for capturing, you know, birds or whatever that's still while I'm taking pictures of birds in flight, something action -y. So I can just switch between the two. Now, it'd be quite cool to hear what you guys use. So leave me a comment below if you guys have any particular setups that you guys use, what you found most useful. And I'm not so sure about my bracketing mode because usually when I'm taking landscapes, landscapes, I have plenty of times so I don't really need it. So if anybody has a good tip what to change that one to, I'm open to suggestions. So let's go through these one at a time. Let's start out with C3. 
which is how I shoot my videos for this camera. You're supposed to be shooting at a shutter speed that is twice that of your frame rate. Frame rate. So 1 50th of a second for my shutter speed and my frame rate is then set to 24 frames per second. I've set my f-stop to f8. That's just a nice starting point. That might change. And for my ISO, I've set that to automatic so that I'm pretty much instantly ready to go to shoot some video and my exposure isn't going to be way off or anything like that. Uh, pretty much for all my stuff, I, I just keep my auto wide balance on because I can just change that in post and that makes it a hell of a lot easier to just quickly change it. My picture profile, now that's a thing, picture style is something you need to be changing or that's what the professionals tell me anyways. Peter McKinnon, he talks about it, how you should be shooting very flat so that you're capturing the most dynamic range. I don't really know all the ins and outs about it. I found a video online that tells me that when I go in to change the picture style, I'll create my own user-defined one. Wait on that, I'll take the sharpness all the way down, I'll take the contrast all the way down, saturation minus two, and color tone leave as is. I don't know exactly why those are the settings. Um, I'm just listening to people that know more about video than me. Um, it, it creates for a flatter image and it's supposed to be easier to color grade and post. Auto lighting optimizer turned off. Again, that one I have absolutely no idea, but this person seemed to know what he's talking about. So I'm going to trust, trust them. They shoot video regularly and professionally. So I'm going to trust them on this wrench. Fourth, menu along, custom shooting mode, C1 to C3, register settings, and I go to C3, and I register those settings for my video. That's the video set. Next one, C2, is where I do my uh, bracketing mode. I have set my ISO to 100, always as low as I can go when you're shooting uh, landscapes, because it's going to be on a tripod anyway. Uh, and I've set my f-stop to f11. That's just kind of a, a nice start. Shutter speed, I just set to 100 because that's going to need to be changed depending on the exposure that I need. Very often it's going to go very low. Other than that, I've set it to a two second timer so that I can just, once I have it all set, I can just press my button, hands clear, and it'll take all three images. And likewise, auto white balance. I don't need to mess with that. I'll do that in post. So. To change all that, basically all the different settings here that I mentioned are very straightforward, except for the bracketing mode. If you don't know that, you go into the menu button, uh, back into the, little, the first thing here which has the camera on it, and all the way up top, exposure, exposure, compensation, AEB, bracketing mode. Uh, we go in there and we change the wheel here and then you can change however you want it. If you want it to be two stops under, two stops over, you can set it to that. My default is one stop under, one stop over and the actual exposure is so three shots. Wrench, uh, fourth one along, custom shooting mode, register settings, C2, so that's all saved. Then we're going to the one where I was talking about where I use this when I'm taking pictures of something actually like birds in flight. I'm taking pictures of the birds in flight in manual and I'm going to switch to something for where I'm just shooting something sitting down and I want to keep my eyes all low. So for that C1, I've changed my f-stop, goes down to wide open on my 100-400 and 400 is 5.6. Uh, I got my ISO set to automatic there, uh, just so I can get a quick shot. My shutter speed I've set to 200th of a second. That's just quite low, but I know that I can easily get away with that handheld, and most species, if they're just sitting still, I can move very quickly anyway, so I can get a shot in there at 200th of a second without it moving. My focus is then again at uh, servo, so continuous focus but I've set it to the silent uh, burst mode. So that means it's a lot easier to take one shot individually, as opposed to when I'm in full, ma full manual and shooting birds, I'm, it, I'm in high burst mode. Same thing again, over to the wrench, 
register my setting and save. And there you have it. That is my three presets for the Canon 7D Mark II. Obviously you can use these presets on most other cameras as well. So I'll be interested to hear what you guys use if you use your presets. If you don't, try them out. They might help you out, speed up your process a little bit. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you guys uh, think, what you guys use. Do you have any, any, any kind of cool ones that you use yourself? It'll be interesting to hear. Maybe I'll change one of mine if you got a good one. So anyways, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you haven't seen any of these videos before, my name is Espen and this channel is all about wildlife photography. So if you like that sort of thing, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified when a new video comes out. I promise I will do a video while I'm here for this channel as well. I'm on Isle Mall and basically I'm focusing on otters and possibly red deer, which I've already seen a few just on the other side of this valley here. So incredibly excited about that. And also check out the Tragopan channel where I will publish the first video from Isle Mall photographing otters. So I'll see you in the next one.